Well, hello and welcome to videos and fly fishing. Today I'm gonna tie a little damsel for you. The one I got in my vise here. It's a very nice insect to have in box. Uh, this is a very nice meal for the trouts in my waters. And I'm gonna teach you how to tie this little critter. Well, I start with taking out this example fly in my vise and put in some hooks. And the hook I'm using is this one, saltwater shrimp, size 8, because I like the shape of it. There are uh, other kind of hooks, but I like this one, very nice hook. And for the tail, I use some Congo hair in the right color. I use um, olive thread from Semperfly. 12 volt and I use some lead wire to weight it down and I use some uh, stonefall plastic eyes the one in the middle and I'm gonna use some uh, shell back from Wapsin like this and I use some uh, hot melt glue to make it all come together to uh, make the shell back fasten with the body and I use some uh, well where did I get it? this medium bug legs from fly tank tension in size sorry color olive well I start with attaching my thread No, I'm not going to do that. Of course, I'm going to start with attaching my lead wire. There you have it. Some wrapping there. Take as much as you want to fit your needs. And attach the thread. And make it on the other side of the lead wire. Snip it off and attach it like this and take, place the shell back on top, wrap it on and then you take your eyes from Stunfall. There are other vendors that have similar eyes I know but I use Stunfalls because I have it cut off from the board what am I call it place it on top like that okay I place this Go here, onto here, wrap it on, wrap it down to the hook band, and now I'm gonna braid this. I split this bundle in three cordals and uh, I uh, braid it together. I um, I will now show you how it looks like when it's finished because I uh, cannot uh, show you because I have to get the things out, out of focus well now I braid it back I braided it and I put a little drop of UV resin here to close it and you can also use some thread wrappings with your vise uh, or uh, thread afterwards okay what I'm gonna do now 
I'm gonna take some dubbing. Let's take one that matching color. You can use whatever dubbing you want, but I use this one. Super fine dubbing. No, as it's it's dry fly fly dry fly dubbing, but uh, it not don't matter because. Um, I weighted this fly down, so we will sink anyway. And I take out some dubbing, dub on, make a body. Of course, now I'm gonna put some legs on. Take out my rubber legs, cut this piece in half, in two pieces. Well, measure out a little. So it don't. And now I place it, the thread on the middle, and I take these two and I wrap on both of them. And take the one pair, drag it to the sides, and do the same as the other, and use my thread to manipulate it. So it will stay on the side, not like this, like that. Okay. Use, use your thread again, manipulate it so it will stay there. You want it? Okay, you can cut some of it too. So it don't interfere with your tying. It has a nice uh, habit to do just that. Interfere with your tying. Like this leg just got. See, I want it to the sides. There you got it. So, in the middle section, take the bundle, sorry, the rubber legs, wrap it around the thread, place it on top, like this, and adjust it, so it will stick out on the side, like this, more or less. So, now we attach some more dubbing. The bone between the legs and around the eyes. Okay, carefully now, round the body between the legs I like this super fine dubbing because you can always get a body thin if you want it it's much more easy to shape the body when you have a nice dubbing like this on not too much it's a rough fly this so I won't put it on my wall I won't go out and fish with it
Okay, now I'm getting there. Not so much left now. Just some dabbing around the eyes. Some more. And then we take this shell back just a little like this and make a beep finish in front of everything. Because now your tying is done, almost. Fly is not finished yet, but soon it will be. Okay. Then you cut off the thread, and then you take your hot melt glue. This is very important don't take too much I use your scissors and just snip off a little little bit of hot milk glue I place it on my dubbing needle so you can see how, how little I'm talking about and you have to be quick because the lie this glue is cured very fast this amount not more and use your lighter you don't need so much warmth and just place it on top here just drag it like that and use your fingers and just press it down see this glue has already cured but you can warm your dubbing needle make it sticky again so no sorry there you see just made the food out of myself so I try to make some more glue on the dubbing needle. It's very easy to be too slow. Just place it on the needle. Well, there's another bundle, a little more. Here you see, now it sticks, now it sticks, yes. Well, I'm going to do a little more thing with this. This is a little too long, cut it around there. And you make a V cut in try to just angle your scissors and use a little plier where did I get it you can use this little hackle so I cut it out and now you just have to cut your legs to the right length Measure it. 
can use the site method like me or you can use some rulers or what you got the fish don't mind but I try to make it so nice I can oh god so there finished damsel nice to fish with very fun very funny okay that's all for now folks and uh, make a couple of those and put it in your uh, fly box very nice fly to have in still water fishing okay bye Thank mm -hmm. you.